I'm J.M. Hirsch, food editor for the Associated Press, and we are at the 10th anniversary of the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. We're having a chat about food media and how it's changing the Ameri America's relationship with food. Joining me is Art Smith, who has come up under Oprah Winfrey and has cooked for just about everybody on the planet, including the Obamas, and Chef Spike, who is a product of Top Chef. So thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So, and, and, and that is my premise, the idea here that, that food media has become so pervasive and I mean, we now have two 24-hour channels, we have more magazines, more cookbooks, mm -hmm. more websites, mm -hmm. God knows, more mm -hmm. websites than, than you could possibly count. And we are, as Americans, we are inundated with food media and, and it's creating a lot of new personalities and it's also creating a new relationship with food. So the first part of my question is, what is going on right now that's causing this, this, this kind of flush of... Well, honey, no buzz, no business. Right, exactly. No <laughs> buzz, no business. Yeah. I don't care if you're selling fried chicken or you're selling pizza or burgers. Yeah. People want something that's sexy, delicious, and something they heard about yeah. it. Okay, they're going to put it in their mouth and we're like, okay, I've heard about this. I'm actually right. eating this, right? Don't and they want face? a face. Yeah, and they want a face. They want a pretty beautiful face behind <laughs> exactly. the fried, that fried exactly. chicken. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. they want cool. Behind. They want cool. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> You know, I, I mean, I also think, you know, I think the nation's become really interested in food and it's come a long way from where it used to be. We used to always kind of be behind, like Europe and, and all these other countries yeah. were really into food and, right. and, and sourcing local ingredients and, and um, you know, we were really looked upon as like this fast food nation. Mm -hmm. and I think over like the last 20 years, I'd say, it's like this whole like celebrity chef thing and, and people are really getting to develop a relationship like with food and they're getting a lot mm -hmm. more educated. Mm -hmm. I think that's what dri is driving it. People just want more of it. They've gotten a taste of it and they just kind of want more. It, exactly, and yeah. the whole thing about it was, it's like people like coming, it's, a lady came up to me at this amazing festival and said, you know, like, I, I, I've been watching food television, I'm, I really haven't really learned to cook, but you really have entertained us. And so, right. you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we come a long day with Twitter, <laughs> hello everybody, I'm gonna take you out and make a souffle, you know? <laughs> you know, and, and, you, and I still remember how she taught me, but the fact is, you know, we are a society that just totally engages and we're voyeurs and we, mm -hmm. and, we, and we love a personality and we love being a part of the whole process. And as um, Spike and I, you know, as our experience on Top Chef, um, you know, they wanted to see it. They wanted to see me cry. Yeah, exactly. They wanted you to say like, Phew. You know, like, yeah. 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 what are you trying to say? <laughs> you know, and, and, but I will tell you something, Lady Gaga said to me, Honey, I was so sad for you. I was so sad for you didn't make it to the top. I'm like, honey, I won because you remembered me. Right. I feel like I've made a business out of losing. Uh, <laughs> oh, exactly. On, exactly on so these much. Shows more than more than anything. So it's good. Well, you know, there's so much talk these days about the of bringing people back to the table, bringing people mm -hmm. back to cooking yeah, for health reasons, for economy, <laughs> <laughs> economy <laughs> reasons, for so many things. But if what we're doing is mostly entertaining with food, are we succeeding? I feel I, I feel so because I feel like the uh, most people out there. Uh, they get like anxiety in the kitchen and they feel like they just really don't know how to cook or, yeah. or something like that. And I feel with all this, all this television and uh, you know, all these chefs, uh, go, you know, doing all these demos, people are starting to learn like, hey, this is really not that hard and I can do this at home for my kids. I don't have to send them, you know, to school with like, you know, these processed foods or, or, or what, what have you. It's actually really easily done and you can, you can make good food and healthy and tasty food. Mm -hmm. I agree and I think that in all seriousness that, you know, all this circus just helps to to, get, to really get what we're trying to get to America quicker to them. Right. If you don't make it sexy, right. if you don't make it fun, they ain't gonna buy into it. And the fact is, is so for so long, when it came to health and wellness, it was just kinda like, not so fun and, not, and, and kinda like, you know, I, I, was, I went to the health food store and I was looking at all this amazing stuff I'm, and I'm thinking like, how can I get more people to eat this? Mm -hmm. Well, if it's, if it's not fun, they're not going to eat it, you know. We w what we have to do is we have to take health to a place where people really engage in it. I mean, we love to look at beautiful people. We love to look at a wonderful sports star or a, or you know or a film star. But you know what needs to happen is that sports star, that film star, that chef. Mm -hmm. We need to say, hey, the reason we are able to have this life we have and the way we're able to do all this is because we take care of ourselves and this is what we do and this is a part of our journey. People will not buy into this whole healthy thing unless they see proof of the pudding. Right. The fact is my dear friend here makes the most incredible burgers and pizza on the hill. Yeah. Okay, my fried chicken is good too. Yes, yes. And I mean, like, that's a good point to bring up because, I mean, you know, the thing about, it's just, People have to differentiate what's what's healthy and what's just like what's what's not healthy. I mean, like right. going to McDonald's, going to Burger King, eating these processed food and having a hamburger is not healthy. Obviously, we all know that now. 
But I ate a half a pizza and I ran the Marine Corps Marathon when I came to see exactly. you. Exactly, like, but you can transform that. What, you know, what I do at Good Stuff Eatery is like I take a hamburger and I make it homemade and I resource ingredients locally. Mm -hmm. And I'm not telling you to eat a hamburger every single day, but I'm saying everything in moderation, right. is, it can be healthy for right. you. And it, it okay. isn't, you know, it's not every day. And the hottest thing now for chefs to do now is like my friend here who is a trailblazer, mm -hmm. is to take his expertise as a culinarian and, and as a star chef and bring it close to the people. There ain't nothing wrong with fast food, but just make sure what you're giving people fast is good for them, okay? Exactly. And, and wow, I, 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 I mean, I love exactly. the American way. I mean, I don't like the fact that the waiting line, I mean, if we can bring health quickly to people, we shall succeed. But don't make people wait. Give it to them. Let them know what exactly is there. And, and also empower people. Like, you know, if, if you're bothered by what your child's eating, you know, take charge. And, and if you don't like what they're eating at school, be, be a part of the process. And, um, I think that this problem, if far you know, like, like we were talking, it's a very, it's it's got very political, you know, like sure. you know, um, you know, our friends on the hill have, you yeah, know, the let's let's move .org, they're pushing, you know, they're you know they're reaching out to chefs to right. to, to sponsor schools, to plant rooftop gardens, to right. do demos, and I think that's the, one of the biggest problems. I just think it's the lack of education about mm -hmm. food, right. uh, and if we can give that through entertainment. Yeah. I mean that you know that's 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 the way we can deli deliver that to you and make you understand about food. I think that's the best way. Most definitely. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you.